29th. Today's Red Ribbon Week theme is be balanced and comfortable and say no to drugs and yes to healthy choices. Are you wearing comfy clothes today? Every day should be a comfy clothes day. I can, I can balance a lot easier in comfy clothes. See? I am not exactly sure that is what we're talking about. Maintaining balance is the key to a healthy lifestyle, like balancing your life, not balancing on one foot. That's right, Sequel. You can live a balanced life and by, ba by balancing eating junk food with, with eating healthy food. You can balance playing video games with exercising. Oh, and you can balance practicing your favorite sport with relaxing and being a couch potato. And to be healthy, we take vitamins to grow strong and we might even take medicine to get better when we are sick. But you should never take medicine when it's not given by a trusted adult. That's the truth. Medication is a drug that has chemicals and interact with our bodies and brains. Certain drugs help us feel better, but if you take the wrong one or take too much, it can get you sick. Did you know some medicine looks like candy? It does? It's important to know the difference. Check out the story called Sarah's Sick Day. Sarah's Sick Day. Written by Irena Winnett. Illustrated by Abira Doss. Sarah woke up one morning with a sore throat and a fever. Her mom said that Sarah needed to stay home from school. Sarah didn't want to miss school. It was share day, her favorite day of the week. She would miss sharing her new birthday doll. She would miss snack time with her friend Grace. She would also miss story time and today was her day to sit on the class beanbag. Sarah decided she needed some medicine. If she took medicine, she'd feel well enough to go to school. Sarah asked her mom for some medicine to help her feel better. Medicine won't help you get to school today, sweetheart. We'll call the doctor and see what she says, Sarah's mom explained. She led Sarah back to bed and tucked her in. Snug as a bug in a rug, she teased. Then she went downstairs to call the doctor. Sarah really wanted to go to school. She knew there was medicine in the bathroom cabinet. Maybe she could take just a little bit before her mom got back from the kitchen. Then she would feel better and be able to go to school. Sarah tiptoed to the bathroom. She opened the cabinet and peeked inside. I can take just a little sip of this purple stuff and then I'll feel all better. Then mommy will let me go to school, Sarah thought to herself as she reached for the bottle. She tried twisting the cap, but it seemed to be stuck. She twisted it again and again, but realized it was locked. Just then, her mom came back upstairs. Sarah, what are you doing? Medicine is dangerous for kids. Sarah's mom rushed into the bathroom and grabbed the bottle out of Sarah's hands. I, I was just, I mean, I thought, Sarah stammered. She knew medicine made people feel better, but obviously her mom thought she was doing something wrong. I'm sorry, mommy. I just wanted to feel better and go to school. Sarah's eyes filled with tears that spilled over her warm red cheeks. Her mother scooped Sarah into her arms and hugged her close. Then she walked her daughter back to her bedroom and told her to climb into bed. Sarah, it's very dangerous to take medicine by yourself. You need an adult to help you know how much medicine to take. Too much medicine, even if it's the right kind, can make you very sick. Okay, whispered Sarah. She felt kind of embarrassed. She was glad she hadn't been able to open the bottle of purple medicine. Even though medicine bottles are hard for kids to open, Sarah's mom decided it would be safest to keep them in a locked cabinet. She told Sarah that she must never again try to get medicine by herself. Sarah promised her mom that she would never take medicine without a grown-up's help again. Sarah was sad to be missing school, but she was glad she hadn't made herself even sicker by taking too much medicine. Sarah curled up in bed with her new birthday doll. She was feeling really yucky and it felt good to lie down. She knew her mom would take good care of her. That felt better than any medicine. A good lesson for all of us. Do you want to test?
to see if you know the difference between medicine and candy? Mrs. Keene sent out a link for a quiz to see if you could tell, tell the difference between candy or medicine. So teachers, make sure your class takes the quiz in Community Circle today or tomorrow. Speaking of tomorrow, we got to dress up and show the book character, profession, or historical figure that embodies our favorite learner profile. Don't forget, you'll need to make a hashtag of what learner profile your character embodies. Don't forget to take pictures of your character or your class all dressed up to send to Mrs. Harris. So exciting, just like birthdays. <laughs> Happy birthday to Camille S. and Miss Eller's class. Happy birthday, dude. Today's lunch menu is PB&J sandwich, grilled chicken Caesar salad, pasta, meat or marinara sauce, and garlic toast. Vegetable and fruit choices are Caesar salad, green beans, cantaloupe or honeydew chunks, fruit cup or juice. Well, that wraps up for the new show for today, Patriots. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Stay positive, stay balanced. And remember to keep living the questions. In person. And, and virtually. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye.